Hello. Hey, how's it going, everybody? No one's in here yet. Ah, uh, right, darn it. Just us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give them a minute for uh, folks to roll in here. Got some pretty cool stuff to talk about today. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty busy one today. It's going to be great. It's been a positive week. There's been lots of awesome stuff we've been rolling. Yeah. Out. Just yeah. about every day, actually. We still got, we still got more stuff this afternoon. Yep, <laughs> yeah. Just keeps on rolling out. Uh, but yeah, might as well give them an overview of what we'll be doing. Uh, kind of the big topics today are going to be, well, the big one is the Dominaria pre-release buy a box promotion, which I know most of you guys are yeah, about. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the big one. I'm sure it's the one most of you are excited about. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Uh, which uh, we're also going to touch on a few other things. Uh, we just came out with a uh, new article on a fun new casual multiplayer format, Brawl. If you guys haven't checked that out yet. Yeah, Brawl's pretty cool. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's, it's a different way to play for sure. You know, And it's got some different benefits going for it. So. That's right, that's right. And we'll also be touching on a couple of those items you've probably seen in the Wizards event reporter this week. Uh, that is the preview and launch event for Battle Bond, as well as the allocation sign-up for Signature Spellbook Jace. Yep, that's that's kind of different too. You know, it's the first time we've really done a cool release event like that for one of our uh, innovation SKUs. So that's pretty cool. And Signature Spellbook just looks sweet. <laughs> it is. It is definitely one of the most uh, pretty looking card products I've seen. Yeah, yeah, I really look forward to what we're going to do with these in the future. So, like, this is this is awesome. This is really cool. That's fun. Well, I think we have a few folks that have rolled in at this point. Um, and um, yeah, so let's dive right in here. Yeah, so you know, we're talking about with brawl actually. Let's mm -hmm. go on. We just start there. Sure. Really kind of give everybody an overview of really what it is. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, what we're looking at is it's a singleton format, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, you're playing with one ofs, and it uses standard legal cards, which is something we haven't really done before, you know, on this yeah. level. Standard's always been 60 cards, and you get your four ofs, and, you know, so this is kind of fun and different. Right, exactly. And, you know, I mean, one thing we know is that for other similar formats to this, it can be actually kind of tough to break into a totally eternal format, even for something like this with Singleton. Well, sure, even when you're talking about something like Commander, like individual Commander decks can be really, really tough for people to even find the cards to play with. Right, right. You know? So this should be good for that. Um, so it actually does borrow some rules, kind of similar to Commander, as, as far as that singleton goes, mm -hmm. um, as well as the fact that your deck is led by a Commander. Um, now, one cool difference is, uh, in, as opposed to just a legendary creature, also any standard legal Planeswalker can be your Commander for this Yeah, game. and that's going to be fun for people, because yeah. I know that's something that comes up in Commander sometimes, where like, oh, well, these can be played, these can't. Well, here, they're all eligible. Right, exactly. And of course, any card in Standard is eligible for this. Um, a couple other good uh, rules details there is uh, your players will start with 30 life instead of the normal 20 for, say, normal magic or 40 for something like a commander variant. Yeah, and the format was designed to be played multiplayer. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the reason for that extra 30 life. Give you a little time to build up and, you know, you're not worried about just somebody getting a couple of aggro creatures in your deck. Right, right. <laughs> like trying, like to, one shot yeah, yeah, trying to avoid that. 20. Uh, but it is 60 card deck. Um, and... Uh, yeah, there is no damage rule, so there's no commander damage. Essentially, you don't have to be tracking how much specific damage you've done from your commander to each player. It's a little bit simpler. Yeah, that, that definitely makes it a little simpler, less tracking. It's it's a very good intro level format for that like casual multiplayer play. Exactly. Um, and cool, if you want to run this in your store, we've actually got a, a, a Wizards event reporter uh, drop down. Uh, coming for this one. Yeah, so it's not in there yet. Uh, it'll be live before you start scheduling them with Dominaria, but it'll be a casual event. You just drop down, choose the Brawl format. Yeah. And that's important because we do want the feedback, right? Like, so if you do decide to run some of these in your store, be sure to choose the proper format because it'll allow us to see and, you know, how many people played in each one, how many stores ran the events, and that way we get a better gauge on what we want to do with it going forward. Exactly. And, you know, that actually goes for all the casual uh, variants that you can run there. It helps us kind of seeing, hey, what's popular? What's being run in stores? So always helpful when you're able to, to specify yeah. that extra. Always layer. report and report with accuracy. <laughs> and, hey, what better time to uh, introduce a format like this than with the release of Dominaria, which is a legendary-centric set, right? So many legends. Yes. yes. <laughs> so uh, good timing on that front. You'll have lots of options for those commanders there. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, uh, Gavin Verhey actually has a great article out on this. If you want to read up on it, um, it's on the Magic website. Yeah, and you know, like we mentioned earlier, we do still have some stuff scheduling right now. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't gone in and done it, you can schedule events for Battle Bond, both a preview event and a release weekend event. So mm -hmm. you want to make sure you schedule both of those. And then we also have stuff for Signature Spellbook Jace, yeah. which are in there. So that's kind of exactly. awesome. 
Yeah, Spellbook Chase, it's just like when you've, uh, when you've registered for exclusive WPN products before. Effectively, you're selecting a distributor, so you can get a good picture of uh, quantities, et cetera, there. Yeah, the thing I want to call out, too, uh, be aware that for BattleBond, you will have allocation, you know, for your preview events. <laughs> and, you know, you'll have to make sure you get that from your distributor and you're all set up. And then we'll have a kit and some other stuff that come for your release event. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Two kind of uh, a few differences between those there. So essentially, for the uh, preview, you're looking at just the packs that are going to be used for this. Yep. For that actual launch event, uh, we'll be getting an event poster out to you. We'll actually have some instructional uh, uh, handouts that you can give for two-headed giant because it is a two-headed giant centric format there. Yeah, and there'll be some participation promos also for the release event. Mm -hmm. And I know that feels a little weird to some of you, and it's gonna probably not necessarily make sense, but there were just some. Difficulties in there, and we tried to give you the best we could, you know, under the circumstances. So. Uh, but a cool thing about that launch event too is that the the promo packs are actually two card packs, and just like a pre-release, they're totally totally usable in the deck for those players there. Yep. Um, yeah, and hey guys, if you guys have any comments or questions on any of this, feel free to plug those right into the uh, the field there for the the video. We'll be happy to answer them as they come, or we can follow up with you afterwards. So we do have one more cool thing since we have signature spellbook Jace. Available for scheduling, I was able to procure some cards. What, Dequan, can you so even do we this? We can show is this them. Allowed? All right. Look at this. Look at this. They actually look really cool. They look as cool in person as they do in the pictures. If I, there we go. Really sweet art. Yeah, these are really awesome. These are really fantastic. And the art is great. They all feature Jace. You know, of so course. we're actually in yeah. we're in his sanctum right now. This is uh, <laughs> one of our meeting rooms here at. Uh, and we have had some people ask like what type of foiling. So there you go. Give you a shot of that there. You can see it. It's center screen a little bit. So yeah, there you go. Uh, foiling, you know, it's going to be, you know, we're looking at it right now somewhere between kind of from the vault and regular foiling. So mm -hmm. uh, if that helps, I don't know if that's a good definition or not. Yeah. Um, Let's see, it says, are there going to be allocation numbers on signature spell book? Customer mm -hmm. saying, absolutely. Uh, at the end of scheduling, you will receive an email that gives you that information. For sure. And same goes for Battle Bond, I believe, as well. As soon as we get that scheduling window closed, that's when we're going to start actually mm -hmm. hammering out the actual allocations there. All right. And I think that's pretty much it on those. Um, cool. So, yeah, might as well dive into the kind of the main feature. The big here. news. The big news. <laughs> the big news. Uh, so, who else excited? Like, this is awesome, right? Like, you're getting to have product for pre release to sell to your customers who pre order from you. Like, this is pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely different than something that we've done before, uh, and um, yeah, and we should also say this is something we're trying with Dominaria. Um, this isn't necessarily going to be, say, like the norm moving forward. We're going to see how that all shakes out in the end, but uh, definitely something we've heard retailers climbing, clamoring for in the past. Yeah, and this is something we're trying to do to really give you guys something that you can push, promote, and advantage, like send people to your store, and you know we really need your feedback here. So. The other thing, too, is we're looking. Like, we want to know who's promoting it. Like, we want to see it on your Facebook page, on your Twitter accounts. Like, we want to know, are your players excited? You know, did you sell out of boxes the weekend? Did you run out of uh, the promo cards, right? Yeah. Like, we need all of that to kind of help us see how big and how good this whole event was. Yeah. And hey, if there are folks in here that maybe haven't uh, checked it out yet, we do have an article up on it. But the long and short of it is stores have been allocated an additional quantity of Dominaria booster boxes for pre-release that's equivalent to the number of buy a boxes that you're getting. So as you know, that's based on level. Uh, and we'd be looking at 20, 40, or 60 for core advanced and advanced plus, respectively. And I can tell you, this card looks as sweet in oh, yeah. person as it does in the pictures. It is very cool. Yeah. I mean, that's the other big difference, right, is this is the first time we've, we've actually got a mechanically unique buy a box promo going for this. Uh, so definitely a good incentive for folks to uh, pick up those boxes. And, hey, pick them up early because you can count on these uh, selling out in a lot oh, of places, yeah. right? And it's, and it's a neat card because it's very appealing for your casual players, for your commander players. You know, it's something that definitely calls to the things they like. Mm -hmm. And those are also the type of players that you might have a little more trouble getting them to buy booster boxes. So. This is very much in the space that you need it to be as a retailer. So definitely push that aspect of it. That's right. Yeah. And of course, the big part is totally standard legal. Even though they can't find it in those packs, they can play it in their standard deck. Yep. Excellent. All right. Uh, oh, also good to know on this. So that buy a box promo is not limited to one per customer like it typically is, kind of going along with this special promotion um, that it, there is no limit set on our end from that. Yeah. And the only thing we say there is, you know, some of that you may have to balance yourself. Just make the best decision that you can with your inventory. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Just like with, with any pre-orders, if you'd like to set your own limits, that's just fine, but we're not restricting it from our end here. All right. The other thing too is remember, you can only give these away at pre-release. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your people, your customers pre-order, they come in, you know, maybe they play a pre-release and then you can sell them the product on that day. Mm -hmm. uh, once we're done, come midnight Sunday, <laughs> like, that's it. Exactly. Uh, hold on to it until release day. Yeah. Yeah. And the one caveat I would put these for anything we're talking about here, this is North America in general. There are some differences in policy region to region. So uh, if you're, if you're watching from outside of uh, North America, go ahead and give your retail support rep a call and they can go through the details with you. Very true. That's a good point. <laughs> um, and further, you should have received an email reminder at this point to let you know who your distributor is. Um, you do actually have the option to change that, but you have to be proactive about it. Um, if we, if retail support doesn't hear anything by the 29th, we're just going to send that additional allocation to whoever you had already selected for the pre-release, but you yeah. can change before that. Uh, let's see. looks like Josh says response has already been phenomenal in driving pre-order sales. Great. Dominaria is going to be, yeah, Dominaria is freaking fantastic. Like it's, it's a cool set. There's lots of interesting new things that some of the cars are doing. So I think that's going to be fun for your players in general. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. Jim good has... Question. Uh, is there a separate buy a box for release? Um, no. So this is the same program. Obviously, any excess that you have after pre-release weekend, come release, you can start using those as normal uh, with, with uh, anyone who purchases a whole box. Uh, but that no limit on it is extended to that as well. Right. Uh, and I think that largely answers Bob's question here. It says, will the promo also mm -hmm. follow the same rules? Uh, technically, yes. It's still, it still has a set symbol. It's yes. still released as part of the Dominaria set. So it follows those same rules to hold on to it till the next set release. However, we hope you've sold through enough boxes that you don't have to worry about that as a concern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely hopeful for this one. It should be a good incentive, both between the mechanical unique uh, element to it, as well as that early sale of full boxes. Yeah, I need to get myself one of them to put in my commander. Yeah. Deck, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but I play, I play Rift. It's green, red, white. I want yeah. one of those. Uh, also worth mentioning here, uh, maybe obvious to some, but keep in mind, even if you placed an order for a max quantity through your selected distributor, they, they may not automatically up that just because of this increase here. So to, to get in on this, be sure to contract your distributor as soon as possible on this one. Let's see, two-headed giant pre-release. Is that the next expansion for standard legal play or is the next core hmm. set is... Great question. So two at a giant pre-release ah. is always available for, for uh, pre-release itself. Uh, you may be referring to Battle Bond, though, which is a two-headed giant release set. Uh, oh, it is not a standard. I see what you're asking. I got it now. Yes, he's asking about oh, Battle Bond <laughs> right, right. being the two-headed giant set. Uh, is that a standard legal set? It is not. Uh, the cards that appear in the set that are already in standard are standard legal, but otherwise, no, they cannot be played in standard. Yeah. Good question, though. <laughs> All right. And, oh, get the Groovy poster? Uh, uh, unfortunately, we can't give you this Groovy poster. It's actually artwork from Jace's Sanctum. Yes. So, yes. Uh, the card from Origins. Right. Right. We are, the uh, the halls of Wizards of the Coast, <laughs> as you can imagine, are adorned with beautiful illustrations like this one. It's it's a perk of working around here. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. I guess people don't know. We have right. artwork in every room, every office, and every meeting room. Actually, yep. I think actually has magic art or D and D art or yep. something around it. Helps so. us immerse ourselves in the world. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, yeah, so they can, the boxes can only be deliver, delivered on Saturday and Sunday, at least for North America only. Again, check with your uh, rep if you're outside of that. Uh, you can think of it just like normal. That Monday through Thursday is effectively a blackout date between pre-release yeah. and release. The other thing, too, is, you know, make sure you get the word out. I mean, we're doing a lot to promote it on our side. We're going to have a lot of posts. We're going to have some ads out there. But really make sure your customers know this is something that's going to be completely different. They're not pro you're going to have a lot of casual customers that just aren't connected for different reasons, and they may not even be aware. So to maximize it, make sure you're telling all your customers, put up some flyers in your store, put up something at the counter. We're going to have some digital ads you can download. We're yeah. going to have uh, table tents you can put down in your play area. We're going to have all kinds of things available for you guys. Yeah. Actually, our materials rep, Talia, just put a ton of Dominaria uh, materials on the marketing materials page, including buy a box promotions. So we got like web banners mm -hmm. in there. We have little web graphics. There's even a poster that you can get for it. Uh, and I believe in short order uh, in the next day or so, we're going to have that sweet, I don't know if you've seen it, but the Dominaria uh, trailer. Uh, you'll be able to download that from the multimedia section. And that does reference the buy a box promotion as well. Uh, Felipe asks, 
uh, let's see, is there a release date for the next core set? Uh, yes, we yes. have posted it. It is July 14, I believe, with the release happening the yeah. week before that. It, it's, uh, it's on the uh, July 13th. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. It's, it is on the website, though, so we've got the fact sheet up for those those uh, key dates for, uh, for 2019. And also, how can we get more standard showdown packs or casual players enjoy them more than FNM? I'm sure they do, because they're getting awesome packs full of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, those are actually given away as prizes. They are meant to be competitive. It's a program-specific item. So the way you get more is you level up, and we right. give more to you. So if you're at core and you level up, you can get more moving to advanced. But yeah. otherwise, there's not really a way to just get more standard showdowns this year. Glad to hear players like them. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, and Josh, ETN, the digital assets, uh, we've actually got the bulk of them up. And hey, you know, that actually includes the new Magic logo. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got new program titles uh, for things like our uh, play programs up there as well. All been refreshed uh, with that really cool Valerian fonts and the new logo. Yeah, we have a whole rollout of things. We've been really trying to make this as easy for all of you to be able to promote all of this stuff. We mm -hmm. know it's a lot, but we're trying to give you all the tools to maximize the dollars you guys can get through your register. That's right. And actually, a week from today, we're going to have another live stream where we go more in-depth into those materials, best practices for them, uh, as well as going over the, the programs themselves. So check back in one week, and, and we'll be happy to go into detail on that. Oh, that also reminds me, we have a video going up this afternoon as well that's going to cover all your kit material. That's right. So if you want to see everything, if I guess some of you may have gotten it, but if you haven't, you'll be seeing it over the next couple of business days. But we're doing a video where you can see everything you're going to get in your kits. That's so. right. Yeah, 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 very cool. And I, I'm sure a lot of you have gotten it already. It's really cool. It's one of the most like kind of pre like prominent displays oh, yeah. that we've had. It it's really cool. Definitely draw attention. All right. Oh, no. Did we drop our connection? Oh, did we? Oh, there we go. Oh, we're, we're back. back. We're back. <laughs> Not <laughs> sure what happened there. But, yeah, so definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, sometime this afternoon we'll have it up, probably a couple hours after we're done. Exactly. Yeah, so we'll have that video going up today. Uh, I'll actually be doing a, another live stream on Monday where we actually assemble the display there. Uh, and then again, come that following Thursday, we'll have our materials and programs overview live, live stream. Let's see. So is there a chance we can get some of those web graphics and higher resolution news on our TV slide to shop advertising? Um, hey, we can, we can mention it to our materials folks. Yeah, let us know what dimensions you need those in, uh, and we can at least look into it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and you know, actually, one thing that I would add, because we did a little dif differently this time, we have up on the marketing materials an image actually of this. So if you're working on your own kind of personalized materials for the store and you want to work that into it and say, hey, come get the card on, on pre-release, uh, we've got that available for you. All right. So with leaks continuing, is there a chance you can provide a ladder board, a visual on who's participating and how well each is doing? Uh, I will tell you, like right now, we're looking over a lot of things with league, you know, checking all the feedback on it. So... You know, there, there may or may not be some things coming for it. We're, we're discussing that right now for what the future of League is going to look like. So definitely something we'll consider. All right. I think that's good for questions for now. Uh, a, a few other kind of uh, tidbits here. Uh, well, actually, I think we've, we've covered most of it. Oh, important to know, though. So, for, so back to the additional allocation of booster boxes for pre-release weekend. It's important that these are only used for full booster box sales. Um, you don't want to be doing individual pack sales for this. You don't want to be augmenting your pre-release pricing with it, um, nor do you want to use it to, say, run uh, drafts at Chatter in-store, just oh. like a normal pre-release. Mm -hmm. That's all off the uh, table until release day. Yeah, the goal here is strictly to let you take advantage of the buy a box promotion. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the key thing here. So it's definitely sealed box sales. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. Yeah, Should we be question. expecting a cardboard cutout for Dominaria? Well, I'll tell you right now, when you see the video, it is way better than a cardboard <laughs> cutout. Like, it is awesome. Like, it is not only awesome, it's huge. It's yeah. a tall, actually, I'm like 5'9", and it's as tall as I am. <laughs> like, it is it's cool. Big. It's, it's a very big. cool piece of art. It's a cool display. Uh, I mean, I don't want to ruin it, because I want you to see the video, but it's it's cool. It's really, really cool. It's neat. But no, it is not a cardboard cutout. But it, I think it's just as cool, if not better, mm -hmm. than a cardboard cutout. Should be one of the uh, one of the best storefront window ones. I think we've done. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I think I think it's it's I think that's fair to say it's oh, the yeah. best thing we've I'll seen to, to put in a window. <laughs> I I think that's an accurate statement. Cool. 
Um, and hey, kind of uh, tagging on to that as well, uh, there is going to be um, some new materials that have the logo on it. Again, we've got that new logo on the marketing materials page. So we're really looking at this as an opportunity to folks to refresh the imagery they have for magic in their store whenever possible. We want to be moving into this, this new world uh, where it's the, the new logo all the time. Yeah, and that's that's a good point. Like we do want you guys to be on the same page, to have the same look. You know, when we're pushing new logo, new fresh kind of style, we don't want necessarily players to walk in a store and see a bunch of the old Magic logos everywhere. Because it's a little weird, right? Like if I start playing Magic and I buy the new boosters and then I walk in, it's like, oh, this place looks kind of dated, right? Like right, they have a bunch right, of old right, Magic right. logos now. So up to date, fresh, new, shiny. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> with this set and you know, small preview, even into M19. Like, we'll be sending you some things that kind of update the store a little bit, give you a Definitely. few different items to replace some stuff you already have. Yep. All right. Anything else we got in here? Uh, where can I find that video? I'm assuming you're going to link it on the WPN page. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we'll be linking out to that uh, as soon as we have that up. And, and again, that should be uh, shortly here. Uh, okay. Looks like about an hour. Yeah. Uh, we actually have our, our video guy, Jordan, who who is uh, the producer on that one. Um, where they go? It says confirmed. about an hour after we walk away from here. Keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. You know, I think that is pretty much it for the big uh, the big points that we had for you guys. Did we miss anything, Jordan? We're looking good. Any other questions? Any comments? All right. Well, tell hey. us. Tell us you you love the programs. You hate the programs. Yeah, yeah. You, know, <laughs> you, you like the items. Like you know, we we like all that feedback. Absolutely. But hey, guys, if anything else does come up. Uh, always feel free to follow up in the comments. As most of you know, you can even direct message me, give retail support a call. We'll always be happy to address those. Uh, what kind of feedback do we like? like? Honestly, all of it. I mean, I know, I know that sounds very generic, but the reality is, you know, we have the Facebook group that gets a lot of feedback that Nelson does a great job compiling and putting together. You know, I'm looking at play data and response and, you know, whenever you guys tell us, hey, I needed more, I needed less. Like all of that stuff gets compiled. Like we literally look at every info source we have coming in around just about everything we do. So we do. Anything you feel is important to tell us, tell us. Yeah. And uh, honestly, it is worth addressing as well because I'll get this a lot on the Facebook group of like, hey, please don't just completely be listening to the, uh, you know, the Reddit or whatever oh. the internet spheres are. We definitely take all of it into account. Uh, we're not, we're not going to be knee jerk doing something based on on an outcry or anything like that. Um, but the more feedback we get, uh, the better data that we have. So also, you know, I was in your shoes as recent as two years ago, so I totally get it. Like, yeah. you, we have people in in the building that understand your pain, so don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, let's see, we had some questions that kind of scrolled up there. Everybody kind of yeah, caught up pretty quick there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Says so we won't be able to sell off all these cool promo stuff. You you don't sell the promo thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a trick question. That's right. So you don't want to you don't want to ever sell anything that you've received from us as a promotional item for free. That's kind of a hard and yeah, fast rule. Please no, that. do not sell. Use them to promote people coming in your front door and buying things. Use them to promote play in your store to make your customers happy. Do not sell them, please. Right. Now that that, that, that gets angry calls, and then our fraud team has to call you, and then that usually leads to bad things. Right. Let's not <laughs> let's not do that. Right. Now, now, hey, if the question is when can I use excess promos to drive in-store play, uh, the same as we have that kind of evergreen rule, as soon as we've moved on to the next set, uh, any cards that have the previous set symbol are now freed up for that promotional use. Uh, Ashlyn asked, we're getting the buy a box. In the, this is the buy a box card. Mm -hmm. Like the, the whole promotion, you know, uses the same card you would previously have gotten for the buy a box. So this is your buy a box card. Exactly. Like, so and yeah, there won't, won't be anything else. It's the card. That's right. And to Desmond's very important question, I think we're actually doing real good. Desmond, thanks. He it, cares about it. It's been a good it. week. It's been yes. a good week, honestly. Um, like I, I honestly first saw the signature spellbook card. Recently, <laughs> yeah. like, These are pretty awesome, and everyone I talked to agreed. Uh, so yeah, we're really doing great. Yeah, it's been a great week actually, and we still have more news coming. Like I said the video's coming, and we're putting more assets up for you guys. So it's going to be a lot of cool stuff for you. That's right. And we still have more previews coming for uh, Dominaria over the next two weeks. So like. Uh, so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, to, to, to Tara's point there, hey, go, thank you for mentioning that. And it is important to us that you guys really do realize you're very important to us. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's the thing. A lot of people are like, oh my God, they're abandoning us. Like, no, we're not abandoning you. Like, we, we're making strategic decisions. Just the thing I, want, I try to tell people when I visit stores is consider a corporation like a big ocean liner, right? Like, and when you make a decision to turn left, 
you don't just turn left like you do in a car. It's like this big kind of arcing, you know, like, so everybody knows when we were turning left. It's just, you got to get there, right? Like, it takes a little while. So, so this type of stuff you're seeing are things we've talked about and discussions that have happened over the course of several months to get this to you and make everything work. And we also have to make it work in every market, right? We're talking right. about a worldwide thing where, you know, there's potentially legal things in some places and, you know, there's different markets have different needs and the different number of stores and different quantities of players in each store. So we have to take all that into consideration. Yeah. You know, as much as it's easy to think that something comes up and we hear the feedback and like, why can't Wizards just do that? It's like, we, we want to, we just can't do it immediately right now. Right, right, right. Like, so there's things still coming and yeah. we are working to help you guys. Yeah. And we do genuinely make decisions oftentimes, at least in part, based on the feedback we get from players, mm -hmm. but retailers too, to a great degree. I mean, another great example of this, we'll actually have some sweet stuff later today. I believe the Magic team's going to be uh, streaming the, the promos for this. Oh, yeah, yeah. The promos are, like, I am excited about the promos. Yeah, like, yes, so, yeah. me too. Me too. Yeah, and, so, I mean, that's a perfect example of, hey, feedback helps in that situation. Yep. All right. Uh, do we need to stop at the free list? Uh, yes. So not technically to draft weekend. You need to wait until the Friday of release uh, in order to sell just like you would normally. So... For example, individual packs, you can't sell any of those on pre-release weekend. Those all have to wait till release. But even full booster boxes, you are not able to deliver those to players on the Monday uh, through Thursday between pre-release and release. Correct. Uh, Ashlyn, you're welcome. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the promotion's great. Like, every, uh, I, We think it's going to be awesome, and we hope you guys make a lot of money from it. So. Yeah, yes. Okay, let's see here. When do we get FNM promos again? Huh, well, you're going to see it in the video in one hour. That's right. Some stores have already got it. Oh, <laughs> not in that one? They're not part of the kit? Oh, you just uh, have to wait. I'm sorry. I false, false alarmed you there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I think they are oh, streaming, they, though. Yes, we will see it on the community video. We'll show those, actually. Do so, it today. Yeah. So it'll be at 3 o'clock our time. So, yeah, an hour, actually. Devon's been freaking about the about. I know. The promos I, for we months. put a lot of work <laughs> in for all of the promos just for the whole set, and I think the selections are awesome. I think everybody's going to like it. I think your players are going to love it. And that's what's good because we want them to come in and spend money with you. Uh, Kevin's got a question here about the uh, quantities for the league boxes. Um, hey, definitely feedback that we'll pass along to the teams that are looking into those decisions. Um, some solutions that I've seen some stores do uh, is to incorporate their own components into it. There's nothing that says you can't, say, bundle a league entry with your own deck box or your own sleeves, etc., mm -hmm. and, of course, incorporate that into the price. Um, so that is a solution for it, but uh, we'll, we'll definitely pass that along. I mean, unfortunately, you know, and actually I want to speak to kind of Kevin's question a little further. Sure. Is the issue there we have is that, you know, I can't obviously give you too many specific numbers here, but when we have different participation levels at different stores, even across different levels, like we have to take that into consideration. So as much as, you know, maybe, I don't know, Kevin, maybe your store does like 50 people or 60 people in league, but, you know, if, a bunch of other stores are only doing 15 people in league or 20 people in league. Like we can't send everybody 50 boxes, right? And trying to send everybody adjustable quantities, like it would be a nightmare for the people at our warehouse. Like, so at some point we kind of just have to choose a number that we think hits the maximum number of stores and go with that, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. And Desmond, uh, can we see any DD? Well, hey, you know, we're actually always looking for what do our retailers want to see in these live streams? What kind of content would be useful for you? So that's that's really good to know. I, I, we can definitely take those to those conversations. Um, if you're looking for, uh, does it sound like uh, how to promote D&D in the store, etc.? Um, that's definitely the, something The other thing, too, at. is to be fair to our D&D team, they have a lot of streaming content. I mean, they, they have, I think it's like six programs that run, like, five or six days a week. So there's tons of D&D stuff out there and they do promo some of their stuff when it's coming out. I know like last year we had stuff like the stream of Annihilation and stuff like that. So definitely just keep your eyes peeled. They have a lot of material out there already. Okay, let's see here. Um, Brian, I don't quite understand your question. Let's see so here. So what about selling boxes a week early? Can We can sell them, but they can get them. I think you corrected it to cans. But they can't get them. No, right. you, you can't sell the boxes after that weekend. So right. you can sell them on Saturday, Sunday, then hold them for the next four days, right. then you can begin selling them again on Friday. Okay, yeah, I think I understand. Mm -hmm. Like if a player doesn't uh, isn't able to come in, unfortunately, they will have to wait to that Friday uh, of release to get mm -hmm. it. All right. Stuff only love is to only pre-release stores. Sorry, man. 
Okay, yeah, that's that's reasonable. Feel we uh, that was um that's that's something that uh, we've heard, we've heard before from stores is the timing on that. What was the question there? Uh, I, I think he was just saying, hey, we'd like to allow it on uh, on Monday as opposed to not. Oh, gotcha. All right. Yeah. All right. I think we are looking pretty good here. Something just sent to us. All right, we got. We'll, we'll answer this one more question. I think it's like it's like the popcorn. You know? yeah, like yeah, exactly. It's like popcorn. It's like it's just keeps coming it up. Uh, and the rest of them, you know, Nelson will be your guy. He will take care of yeah, you on right. the WPM page as well. Um, but yeah, as far as that, that last question on Word there, can incorporate a screen that shows the stuff are being sent to us. Uh, this we can see if something is planned en route to reach out. If you're talking about things that you have signed up for in Wizards Event Reporter, your best record of that is always going to be the confirmation email that's sent automatically uh, when you sign up for something. If you're still unsure, feel free to give retail support a call and they can look into uh, make sure that, that uh, the correct materials are being sent out. Yeah, I also believe uh, Roscoe actually sends out an email that has your tracking numbers in it as well. So whenever kids go out, like you know that stuff's being sent to you. All right. Well, I think it's looking pretty good here, guys. Again, if you've got any more questions, please follow up in those comments. Uh, feel free to give us a ring in retail support. And uh, yeah, and hey, please uh, check out the video we have coming later today. We're gonna have that um, uh, Dominaria display. It's kit gonna be assembly awesome. Live today. <laughs> That's coming up on Monday, and a week from today on Thursday, we are gonna have our more in-depth materials and programs uh, overview for the Dominaria season. Yeah, we appreciate everybody stopping in. Uh, there was tons of activity, tons of questions. Like that's. Those are the best live streams when we get the interaction with you and get to answer your questions personally. So that's always fun. So thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, guys.